Hey there, welcome back to How to Medicate and welcome to this new video on how to use lithium. This video is part on a video series on mental health problems and for those of you interested you can find a complete playlist in the description. Click on it after watching this video of course. Now for those of you I'm meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewer, because I believe that medically educated people make healthier decisions, which is the whole point of this channel and this video. The video also comes with a quick disclaimer, it's meant purely informative, this is not medical advice and if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor. And now quickly, let's get learning. The generic name of this medication is Lithium, but it's sold under several brand names like Camcolit, Litobit and Litonate. And it's available as regular tablets, tablets with a delayed release function and as capsules. Which brings us to how to use this medication. For those of you that want to use the regular tablets or the capsules, make sure to swallow them whole with half a glass of water. For those of you that want to use the delayed release tablets, do not chew on them and do not crush these tablets as this will unintentionally release all the active ingredients at the same time. This may decrease its effectivity and may increase the amount of side effects you're experiencing. Furthermore, if you're taking lithium just once a day, make sure to do so in the evening as this can also reduce the amount of side effects you're experiencing. Which brings us to the use cases of lithium. Lithium itself is a salt, which is quite similar to potassium or sodium. And it can be used to treat several medical conditions like bipolar disorder, depressive episodes, and off-label it can be used to treat cluster headaches. The mechanism of action of lithium, however, is unknown. Normally, I would discuss the correct dosages here, but unfortunately, I can't provide you with any guidelines considering the usage of lithium. Here I want to mention that the precise dose will depend on your specific indication of use, the side effects you might experience, the severity of your symptoms and the blood levels of lithium you will be having throughout your treatment. For lithium to be effective, the dose needs to be precisely monitored. Therefore, I can't provide you with commonly prescribed dosages in this video. Therefore, always use the prescribed amount of frequency your doctor gave you. In addition, lithium can be a very effective drug, but unfortunately it has several side effects. I will discuss some of the most common ones in this video, but if you're looking for a complete list, always ask your doctor or check your leaflet. Very commonly, lithium might cause excessive thirst, excessive peeing, shaking of your hands and weight gain. Commonly, it might cause a slow working thyroid gland, nausea, vomiting and or diarrhea. And rarely it can cause concentration and memory impairment, increased sebum production and acne. Which brings us to the safety of use. Please be careful when combining lithium with alcohol as this might increase the side effects you're experiencing from lithium. In addition, also be careful when driving if you're starting to use lithium as it can cause you to become drowsy, sleepy and or dizzy. If you're experiencing any of these side effects then please do not drive. Furthermore, lithium can have an interaction with other drugs you're taking. Therefore, always discuss this with your prescribing doctor. And lastly, the usage of lithium can be dangerous for patients with a severe impaired kidney function, severe heart disease and or severe brain damage. So make sure you don't forget to mention this to your prescribing doctor. Now lastly, as always, we're ending off with the safety of lithium while pregnant or while breastfeeding and unfortunately it can be dangerous in both cases. So again, always discuss this with your prescribing doctor. Now I hope you know now how to use lithium because educated people make healthier decisions which is the whole point of this channel. For those of you that want to keep on learning check out the playlist in the description and all that rests me is to thank my sponsors on Patreon. Thank you Sebastian who is an investor tier supporter and thank all of you for watching. If you did enjoy the video and if you did learn something please leave a like this will help out the channel tremendously and consider subscribing. I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year and you can help me reach that goal. And for those of you that can't get enough, I also have an Instagram account at How to Medicate. I'm posting there a few times a week, so check my Instagram out as well. Thank you all, and as always, I will see you with the next video next week. Bye bye.